Let me. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me Fia here and welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest with me here again. This is my boyfriend David. You may have seen him in a previous video or maybe I uploaded this video first, I don't know. But yes, he's been in my videos before and he's here again for some thing interesting <laughs> this time. Interesting in it. It took me a lot of work to get him actually to be in my videos. So this is a very special groundbreaking moment. So in today's video, David is going to be learning about my Caribbean culture. So if you don't know me, I am from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a beautiful gem of the Antilles in the Caribbean. Um, David is from the Netherlands, so he's Dutch. Um, and <laughs> he has been to St. Vincent before. So he has been to a few Caribbean islands, uh, like he's been to Barbados and Trinidad and Jamaica. Um, so he is. Although gone I didn't really pick up much of the culture or like the things we're going to talk about now. That's his fault. He could have. <laughs> you had Caribbean food. You spoke to Caribbean people. I think. Yeah, you had but food. when I'm walking around, they do not speak to me in Caribbean accent. They just speak English. <laughs> Caribbean. Yes, because they want you to understand them, exactly, right? Exactly, so I don't hear it that. But anyways, he's going to learn about all that today. So the first part of this video is about Caribbean dialect or specifically Vincentian dialect. So some other islands might be able to understand this, these sentences or use them themselves, but them, themselves, themselves. <laughs> but this is specifically Vincentian. And the second part of the video, which will come later on, will be him reacting to uh, Caribbean music and traditions. So that should be quite interesting as well. So he has heard some of these before. What are some of the Caribbean words or? Sentences that you already know. I've been um, teaching you a bit already. Madawak. Um, Wait, would say it again. Madawak. Mm, you said uh, it correctly the second time. Uh, where you going? Something. I don't remember the whole thing. Over day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's not familiar with everything yet, but I do teach him stuff, a bit of stuff about the Caribbean. I myself do not speak the dialect very much. I'm not very great at it either. I normally speak proper English, except when I'm with my family or I'm comfortable or something like that. So he usually hears me speaking like this in standard English. Yeah. So this is gonna be quite interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show him a sentence or a phrase and he is going to repeat it and he is going to translate it to English to see how well he's good at that. I'm gonna try. Let's get into this. Let's hope I survive. <laughs> so, first one. Wait, where are you going? Mm. Wait, where are you going? Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, where are you going to? Or which part are you going to? So, where are you going? Is where are you going? No. Way, as in where? Pa, as in. Or oh, where? Pa <laughs> is like where? Yo, you, gain, going. Good job. And now make me get with you, Anna. Now say it in fluid. <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> now make me get. Why are you say it like a robot? <laughs> like Google Translate. <laughs> now make me get vex with you, Anna. Yeah, that was good. You're missing actually... a comma there. No, we don't use. We don't use that. I'm kidding. But yes, you did pretty well because this is even I can't say it. Namet me get vexed you know. That means don't make me get angry yeah. with you. Oh Vex shoot, angry, you were supposed to translate it. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah. Namet me get vexed you know. That means like don't make me get angry with you. So you have to say it like that. Left me so. You said it correctly, but the intonation is wrong. So try to say it in a different way. Left me you know. Uh, there. Left me here, no? Left, left me here, so? Left no. me here, so? Oh. I will... You pronounce it correctly by the intonation. Yes, it means leave me alone. It's left me here, so. Left me here, so. Yeah. Left me here, so. Left me here, so. Like, just leave me here. Leave mm -hmm. me alone. Uh, tell the girl, me guy in a tongue. Yeah, that was good, but... Tell but me girl, you can. This is not girl. Pronounce that like girl. You know. 
Yeah, so say it together. Tell me, girl. No, tell. Uh, tell me, girl, me na, me gana a tongue. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, girl, me gana a tongue. I have no idea. Yeah, the first time you said it really well, except for girl. So, <laughs> what does it mean? Tell the girl, I'm going a tongue. What's a tongue? To town? Yeah! That's really good! <laughs> so, tell a girl, me gain a tongue. So, this with okay. the G Y E L is yell. Gel. 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 Not bad at me. Don't bother me. Yes, but the intonation for me is wrong. So, say it again. Not bad at me. Say it me. again. Not bad at me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Not bad at me. Not bad at me. Leave me alone. Hey, girl, for me, Suzette Brit. Huh? Anna? You said Suzetta with the most Dutch accent ever. Hey girl, for me is Suzette Breed Anna. One more time. I have no idea what I'm saying here. <laughs> you don't know? Hey girl, for me is Suzetta Breed Anna. I don't even know what Suzette will be. It's saying, it's hey girl, for me Suzette Breed Anna. That means the girl, yes, the girl, the girl or the daughter. Fire. Of Miss Suzette. Suzette is a woman's name. Suzette should be a capital S. Whatever. I'm thinking of the language, so. <laughs> it's a name. So the and girl or the daughter of oh. Miss Suzette is pregnant. Breed, we say pregnant. <laughs> like you know when animals are breed, <laughs> it's a bad way of saying pregnant. So you wow. get for Miss Suzette breed and and you have to say oh, wow. it like like shocking news. So try it again. You get for Miss Suzette breed and Not Suzette. Suzette. <laughs> <laughs> I get from Miss Suzette Breed Anna. Breed. Breed. What day? Yes, you pronounce it right, but the intonation, <laughs> the accent is different. Oh, what day? What does it mean? What's there? Or nope. what's over there? Not really. It means. Who are they? No, it means. Look at that. Uh, like, what day? Like if you see a plane uh, crashing uh, in front of you. What day? What day? Yes. <laughs> One more for that. Yeah. What does that mean? I have no idea. So it's humufuda, and that means how much for that? Oh. Like what's the cost of that? Humufuda. Sitting, yeah. So let me brush your head. Sitting, 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 yeah. No, sitting, sitting, sit down, sit down, sit down, yeah. So let me brush your head. Ah. Translate it is not sit down. It translates as sit down, but that's not how you say it. But translate it first. Sit down um, so I can brush your hair. Yes, so it's sit down, yeah, so let me brush your head. There are we go. There are we go. There we go. Hmm? There we go. Nope. Where so do we go? It's la we go. Wow, so we go. Le ah we go. Let okay. we go. Yeah, that means let's go. Them say she know where where she freak, freak. Them say she know where where she freak. Where? I have no idea what. Translate. I mean. They are saying or they mm -hmm. say she is not where she doesn't wear. Mm -hmm. She freak. I don't know what a frag is. Okay, so. Basically, frack in this question is frock, which means a dress. Frock. frock. F R O C K. It's like an older word for oh, dress, okay. not the English word. So, it's them sishinawa where she frack. So, they're saying she doesn't want to wear her dress. Wait, what? Yeah, that's good. But the, we don't say war. It's way war. Way war. And what does that mean? Why are you? No. Where are No. Um. It means. What do you want? Jumbi. Good pronunciation. Jumbi. What is a jumbi? A jumper. Guess. Um, jumbi. Yeah. That's incorrect. A jumbi is a ghost. A ghost? How do you connect jumbi and ghost? What's... No idea. It's okay. just a ghost. Jumbi. Picnic. Mm -hmm. A picnic? No, why would it be... Okay, anyways. No, it's not a picnic. Is it food? <laughs> I hope not. Okay. Um, a pygmy is a child. A child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is a pygmy a child? So, me pygmy. Me pygmy is my child. Okay. <laughs> she thinks. <laughs> Let me guess, that's poop. Yes. But actually, in the Caribbean, poop doesn't mean what you call poop. So, no, what does it? 
poop is like a fart. Oh. And okay. for well, at least in Saint Vincent, for what you call poop, which is like defecation, <laughs> is tutu. Tutu. What's this one? I've told you about this more than once, and you've forgotten what it meant. So, what is it? What the? Wine. Mm -hmm. And that is a dance where you're very close to the partner's body. Not when necessarily. They're... You can whine on your own as well. Oh. But what is it? A dance. A move. Um, what type of move? Wait, uh, uh, when you move your butt <laughs> or hips. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's what whining is. We have one more word left. Bring it on. Whatless. Yeah, you pronounce it correctly. So we say whatless, and whatless is basically translated to worthless. Oh. But we don't really use it as worthless, but more for like somebody that has not a good upbringing. Like they don't care about anything, they just do bad things. Like it's a word, it's like they're not <laughs> they being decent. Properly. Yes, but they're not being decent, they're kind of careless rude, and okay. not rude, but like. Why is this so hard to explain? Um, they have no decency. Or it could be this person is disgusting, like they don't clean up and they're just living a pigsty, like that type of way. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two coming very soon. It should be quite interesting. Do you feel like uh, you learned anything at all? Yeah, yeah. I uh, recognize sentences now, not by the way they're spelled or made, but by the pronunciation. In this case, you have to listen to the pronunciation to understand what is asked. <laughs> but you didn't even when I did that. <laughs> In some cases, you still don't understand them. He's learning. I'm proud of him. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.